Hi, this is Dr. Ron Eaglin, and this is App Script for Experienced JavaScript Developers. And the reason I do this is because I've seen a lot of App Script videos out there, and they all like baby talk this stuff. No. If you know how to develop, you can do App Script. It's actually not that hard. So I'm going to do it with, a, with an example of a spreadsheet. And I'm going to have a very complex set of business rules here. <coughs> so what I'm going to do, I need to take this spreadsheet. I need to find I need to look at these three columns D, E, and F, or in this case, columns one zero, one, two, three, four, and five, because they start at zero. Okay, this is remember, think like a programmer. If the number in any of these three columns matches the number of the outcome that I want to do, what I want to look at, I need to then take the row. So in other words, this row be, would, would come out for this for this outcome number two. And I need to take this column, this column, this column, and these three columns at the very end. And I need to output those into another spreadsheet. That's some pretty complex stuff. Well, let's make it even more complex. I need to read three separate spreadsheets to look for this. I need to organize them all. And I need to get that output out into that other spreadsheet when I'm done here. So essentially what's going to happen is the output's going to look something like this. Here is outcome number one. I'm going to correlate that with course outcomes one that go with individual courses. I'm going to pull the data from the individual courses. And I'm going to output all this thing into a spreadsheet reading all that data. Bottom line is i got to do some complex logic. I want to know how to do this. So let's think about this, okay? Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and control A, control A. That's a neat little trick, which control A, control, well, first we'll select the local area, then control A, double, we'll actually select the whole thing. Delete away, now it's empty. Now, to get to App Script Tools, Script Editor, take you right over here to App Script. App Script has a function built in, my function. It's going to run my function when you hit the run button up here, okay? So that's how you run it. Now, I'm going to put some stuff into my function. The first thing that I know is I got to read data from three spreadsheets. So I create an array of arrays with the names of one, two, three spreadsheets. And because the columns that I need to re read from, from each of those individual spreadsheets are different, I create inside that array, uh, it's an array of arrays. Um, in that array, I'm going to put the, the numbers of the columns I need to read from. Now, now the information I need to do this is there. Oh, I've also got in the output, I need to start the next set of output where I left the last set of output where it ended. So I'm actually going to say, start doing this in row one, but then each of my individual functions is going to return the row to where you need to do the next set of spreadsheet tabulations. That's not that hard. So when I write my tabulate outcomes, I'm going to return down here a row, which is then going to be the start row of the next one. I'm in a nice for loop. So basically, I'm going to iterate through sheet info here, which I could have used. I, I mean, in this case, I used for i equals zero. I could have done a for each. But basically, I'm going to iterate through this, and I'm going to go ahead and tabulate the outcomes and output them. Whew. Now, over here, then, I'm going to call this tabulate outcomes, and I'm going to, pa I'm going to pass it sheet info of i, um, which is basically going to be this row of sheet info and the start row and then I'm going to go to I'm going to figure out I'm going to find the sheet and I'm going to get it by the name and by the way the first element of that row is the name of the sheet so I'm going to get sheet by name with the first element which is all of course element zero. Oh gosh this is even more complex because the number of outcomes that I might have to tabulate is the maximum of all the values in this section of the spreadsheet. In other words, in, co in, the, in the columns D, E, and F, the maximum value is the number of um, outcomes that I have to tabulate. So I've got to get those maximums. So well, what do I do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and first define the input sheet, the sheet that I'm working on, which will which is essentially using the get sheet by name, which will, by the way, be one of these three spreadsheets. Okay, because I got three of them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get the maximum in the column for each of the individual sheets. So I've got a function down here called get max in column. Now, notice that I passed it over the sheet and the name of the and the number of the column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a range from the sheet 
based on the start point of the row, which is row three. There's there's the number start at row three, and the column that I'm looking for. In this case, it's columns three, four, and five. I'm going to use the sheet, get the last row, and get the values, and then I'm basically going to calculate the max the max in the column by sorting it and taking the difference. Okay, it's it's pretty simple stuff. And then I'm going to return it. So essentially, that function will get me the maximum in a column. I could have actually used the math max, but that's you know that's another way to do this. Then I'm just going to compare the three and get the maximum of all three of them, so that I've always got the max from all three columns. Whew. Yeah, man, this is getting kind of challenging. Now I now know how many outcomes I've got to iterate through. I've got to go back to these sheets now and go, okay, so I know that I've got, let's say in this case, six outcomes. I've got to find every row where outcome six appears in any of these three columns. Then I got to go ahead and get these three and these three columns. And then I got to copy them into an array. And then I need to output them over here in my results. Not that bad. So I'm now going to loop through the number of outcomes using the maximum. I have my input sheet. That is the sheet, spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet, get sheet by name. That's the sheet I'm going to look for it in. So now I'm going to say, you know what? Let's get the outcome. So I pass it the sheet. I pass it the, the number of the outcome. I pass it where I'm going to put it, which is going to be the next row plus two. And then I pass it the information from up here, which tells me what columns to go ahead and pull out. So then I come over here. So now I've made this call to get outcome. Well, get outcome's got the sheet. It's got the outcome that it's looking for. So in other words, I have to match the value in those columns to ba -ba 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 -ba, the actual number that I'm passing to it. Well, that's not that hard to do. I'm going to look at each row in the values of the entire data range of the sheet. And I'm going to see if row three is equal to the, the outcome I'm looking for. Row four is looking at the outcome. Oh, actually, I'm looking at column three um, um, because the, the row is the value. But the row three is the, the value in three of that row. That's basically in column three of that row. Because guess what? It's a spreadsheet. It's rows and columns. Rows and columns can be in an array. That's how you keep track of everything that's out there is in an array. And it's a two-dimensional array because it's a spreadsheet. So what I did is I first made this, this variable called filtered values that's going to be, first I set it by default equal to an array. But the array is essentially going to be the values are going to show up in the header rows. So I've got the header rows that go with this okay, in the columns. Then I'm going to go through every single one of those rows. I'm going to check to see if the outcome happens to be in the columns that I'm looking for, three, four, and five of the row that I'm looking at. And if it is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push that into my, um, I'm going to actually push it into this, this thing I've got here called N row, which by the way starts out as a blank array. That's the new row. That's going to be a row of the output. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll take the filtered values, which starts with the header, and I'm going to push that row of values in here. Okay. Then um, I'm going to take all of that, and I'm going to set it over here. You can see I'm actually going to go ahead and do a get range, and I'm going to go ahead and set the values equal to the array. So the range will start at the start row in column one. It's going to go the length of the filtered values and the... Um, width of the filtered values. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. That's not that hard to do. And then I'm going to return the start row, um, which was passed to me, plus the length of filtered values, which is where I'm going to start the next spreadsheet. OK, now, magic thing, we're going to hit this go, and we're going to see what it does. Now, what you're going to be getting out of this is if you look at my code, I'm able to easily manipulate and move data from a spreadsheet and then back into a spreadsheet. So now it's running right now, but if I actually go over here to results, you'll see, and actually if you run go down, you can see it put, outputting the results. There's my header right there. The, that's, the, that's the actual where I'm getting the data from, the outcome that I'm looking for. Um, I've looked in three columns to find, me, to find whether the outcome equals outcome one. And every program outcome has corresponding course outcomes, which is basically I'm reading something some on business logic from these values here. And now I've got all of them from all of the sheets 
nicely compiled. Now, of course, you could have just gone through and done all of this by hand. But why would you do something like that when you can always, if you're a programmer, you'll spend hours programming something you could have done by hand in basically an hour, but it's reusable and you learn how to do some coding. So I'm going to go back over to this code first. App Script. Tools, Script Editor. Okay, brings you to the App Script Editor. App Script Editor, okay, you know JavaScript. If you know JavaScript, you know App Script. It's that simple. All you got to learn to do App Script is the names of the objects that you're manipulating in Google Docs. It's not that hard. Then from the rest of it, it's just writing decent code. Figure out a way to write the correct functions and build the thing that you need to build. In the case of the spreadsheet that I'm doing, this object spreadsheet app, and by the way, it is sent. There you go. I got that. I can easily fill in all those values right there. Simple to do. When you hit that run button, it's going to run the function my function. By the way, I could have made by very this variable sheet info a global by taking it outside of that function. I don't like global variables, so I didn't do that. But I've zoomed through this, but for advanced programmers, you should now say, hey, wow, this isn't really that bad. It's just learning those objects and understanding how spreadsheets and arrays can correlate. Good luck, good programming. Now you should have ability to actually start doing real stuff in Google Docs using AppScript. See you later.